Hey everyone, it's Rose Crystal and I'm back another episode of Hat in Time Death Wish. Last time we took on our first Rift Collapse and our first Collectathon. So now we're going to go back and see what else Death Wish has in store for us. On top of that, we activated Peace and Tranquility for the first time, making our levels substantially easier. And yeah, I had a much easier time as the mode prescribed. And now we're going to see what the rest of the Death Wish holds for us. So without further ado, let's get right into it. As you can see, my character looks a little different. It's because I've been doing time rifts and other uh, timepiece related stuff off camera. As you can see, I have a different timepiece amount. That's because I'm just doing some work off camera. But nothing related to Death Push because that's strictly on camera. You ready to die some more? Great! Anyway, getting that out of the way, let's get our next, uh... Our next death wish. I'm sorry, I'm really tired, so words may not come to me as often, but I'm trying my best here. Anyway, next death wish is she speed ran from outer space, so let's do it. Clear she came from outer space in a minute or fifty or less. It sure would be nice if you could leave that weirdo with the goofy glasses there. We have something you need. So we gotta beat it in less than two minutes. Which is gonna be a hard ask, but hey, I'm always up for a challenge. Get ready! Go! Go! So where am I supposed to go? I completely forgot. There's something up there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start over because um obviously I lost my way. And by the time I get up there anyway, I'm going to run out of time anyway, so I'm going to start that again and see. I'm not going to pause it, because I don't know how that'll screw up the time with the game. So let me just go back there. As you can see, that small marker is because I left the contract, and now I'm going back into it. It should look normal now. Alright, now that I have it to do... Yeah, that's right, I gotta make it up there first. Okay. Get ready! Go! No fighting any mafia, that takes up too much time. And you have to be seen as like a monster. And quotes on the monster. If I took us farther or away from my goal than we needed to. idea around this place. It's bad since I'm already up to a minute and 17 seconds. I need to find a more efficient way. 
sure I'm not doing myself any favors. What the? It's... It's slimy space alien! Mafia suspicion! Ah! Yeah, the time is still going during the cutscenes. That's why I'm skipping for that. Are you having fun, kid? Is this exciting for you? How do you plan on getting that done in 150? Even if you got there, the cutscene alone would take up all your time. Get ready! Go! to find a quicker way to get get to him otherwise get ready go don't even bother following the rules yet since there's one nearby There's gotta be a more efficient way because now I only have less than 40 seconds. You have to do this whole chase thing and make sure that the AI notices you so you can move on to the next segment. And it's very irritating because you have a whole cutscene to go through too. Are you kidding me? Are you joking right now? He basically gave up the timepiece, but I ran out of time in that exact second. Sweet mother of... Mm. I'm not liking that. 
It should have just given me the timepiece and left me alone. Get ready. Go. Go. Basic kid, your speed running career was over before it even began. Shut your trap. I do not need your negativity. I will happily sit here and not use peace and tranquility. I'm not doing anything today, so at least, you know, I got that going for me. Are you? Mm, frick off, dude. I don't think it planned for that, but still. Oh, that little script in the classroom. Come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Speedrunners find fun about this. Honest to God, what do you guys find fun about this? What do you? I, I genuinely want to know. So much stress, and for what? A new record? I have to admit, I had already won that. There is not a chance. Come on. I am gonna scream at my fast self. I mean, speedrunning is very difficult. That's why a lot of- I know a lot of people make careers out of it, okay? I know that. Simple flips, uh... Yeah, that's the only- unfortunately, that's the only speedrunner I know. Um, I'm pretty sure there's more, but I don't quite remember every speedrunner out there. What is- what do they find fun about this? I genuinely want to know. What the? It's Mommy! Come on! Here, throw some slack, please! I've already done this about seven times already. I'm pretty positive that's not the answer, but still. It's gonna cost me. Let me do that. Yes! Oh my god, I am not doing that again. And I'm not going back there either. I made a promise that I wouldn't. Oh my gosh. Is that really all 14 minutes? Goodness. I mean, I, I could. I could do more Death Wish if I'd like to. I mean, there is a hit list coming up. But no peace and tranquility. Good. Take out that map, kid. We're doing some contracts. Okay. Now it's fixed. Cool. Okay. Peace and tranquility mode is activated on that since you moved that through. Since I never got peace and tranquility on all these, they're not activated. Or rather, they are. So, reach the end in 80 seconds. Go to special UFOs. There's a lot of things left to do. 
But now, we have Mafia Jumps and Vault Codes in the Wind. Codes in the Wind. I'm thinking of doing one last one for right now, and that's doing Mafia Jumps. She came from that space only 15 jumps. With a light tap here, uh, Ice Hack and Musicon kind of Ledges without having to actually jump, so I'm useful. that I'm no longer limited to time, and rather just actions. I can just move around pretty quickly. Oh, frick. I do need to save the majority of my jumps for when we see the guy. So... It doesn't count as a jump since I fell, that was the animation for it. So I'm gonna look around for some ice hat stuff. Heck, I hit him. That's the beach camp. Double jump counts too? Ah. Oh. Oh. What? Yeah, I, I am not making that. If I can't even make it to him in less than 15 jumps, I'm gonna have to look for a. Uh, There's no way. There's one near the very beginning. Regarding the whole best friends for everything yet, kid, I can do this a whole lot longer than you can. Your your negativity is not welcome here, Snatcher. I mean, regardless, I'm going to finish every death wish, even if it costs me my sanity. So, let's see. The wall jumps aren't a good idea, considering you, you can use double jumps and that counts towards your goal there. That already leads over to the island, making it very ineffective for me. It's insane. Even the smallest little jumps count. Oh goodness. So it's a mix of speed running and keeping an eye on how many times you jump to. Okay, how do you want me to get up there without having to jump? I mean, there's a lot of... Tracks won't fulfill themselves, kid. 
<sighs> Screw it. I said I'd use it once, but... Oh, uh, man. How do you want me to do this? I mean, there's literally no ice things anywhere. And the only ice thing I see is... Um, towards that little island, and that's way off center from where we're going. Oh man, I really do not want to use peace and tranquility if I don't have to, but that's impossible. By the time you reach him, you'll already be out of 15 jumps. If it was 30 jumps, maybe we'd have a shot. But it's not. I mean, by the time you reach there, even if you did use speedrunning tactics, it won't matter. Anything to get up there quicker allows you to jump. No, like 24. Okay, 24 is pretty reasonable, but still. I mean, I know I'm using excuses, but still, man. See, the only ice thing out there is way out of our field. And even if we were to come back through that, it doesn't matter. I do not see any other ice related stuff. I know they don't count as a jump more specifically. Ah! Ah! a quick way. I mean, yeah, we saw other ways up there. Maybe there is more, but I'm not sure. reason I'm not quitting right now is because um, I'm gonna have to beat this death wish anyway and I want to beat it on camera so I'm gonna be suffering for a bit that's all Getting really into it because there's 
so used to jumping and hopping and dive canceling everywhere that when you're told not to do that, it's very hard because now you have to go look and walk around instead of doing um, what you're normally supposed to be able to do. And I'm not complaining. It's just me being irritated as hell. Jump if you have to. Because you have to save the majority of your jumps when you shake chase the guy. Even if you have peace and tranquility enabled, it doesn't help. Oh, of course there's a freaking staircase up there! What the? Huh? I'm glad I found that now and not in a past recording. Okay? I'm glad I found that now. It's Mafia's Of course there's a freaking staircase up there. What was I doing? Now you can dive past the pretty quickly. Because we have a piece of personality, I guess. Definitely dive cancels do not count towards your do wall jumps count? They do. And wall jumps for that matter. Jump getting back up there does not count. Okay. So, don't use double jump unless you have to. Are you freaking serious? It brings me back here? If I didn't miss that last jump, I would have done it. No, because then you have to save one last jump for grabbing the timepiece. I 
genuinely do not know what people like about Deathfish. Other than the fact that it's hard. I thought I had it easy. I had it easy. But now, now I'm seeing how ridiculously difficult it can be. Which, don't get me wrong, I love challenges. I do. It is so irritating. Because when you're doing this all on camera, man, you, you want to actually show you know what you're doing. Considering I've never done Death Wish at all. So, this is all first attempts at everything, which could show how fast I can get irritated. This is why I play Stardew Valley, okay? It's the happy farm game that does not cause me stress. Okay? That's why I play. Happy farm game, no stress. Next time. What the? It's Mafia. Uh -huh. And no, I'm not even joking. That the game is like a form of therapy. So, I highly recommend. You have no idea how, how, um, tempting it is to use a double jump, but I can't, because there's no way you make anything like No! Oh, frick. Screwed it up. Yeah. Screwed it up. <sighs> I'm not stopping until this is done. You know that, right? We are gonna sit here all day, day, if I have to. Are you? Mm. Really not liking this mode at all. Oh. 
Ugh. Not liking. Why did I bother to do this? I was done with the game. Done with this madness. Why? Past self, why are you making me go through such torture? Why do you have to be a stickler for your gosh darn words? Jump has to use double jump. I have no choice. What the? It's Mafia. So I can't. I can't reach it. Tranquility enabled. I can't imagine doing it as normal difficulty, okay? I don't even know how you reach through that. Extra jump reserve too. Not liking this. I really am not liking this. I had it. Freaking had it too. If it was just that one jump I didn't screw up on, it would have been over. I didn't just do that little hop before, I would have done it. Like I say, I miss I miss the staircase. What the? It's Mafia. Uh Pacifistic child, I cannot hurt you. Except to myself. Basically, if you don't get a high enough jump, it's pretty much cool. Is there an easier piece of tranquility? Please? For the sake of my mental health?
going to finish it, because I'm a stickler for my word, but still. I really hope that vault mission is easier. I, I do. Okay. I am not doing that course ever again, because I will have PTSD from it. <laughs> Take out that map, kid. We're doing some contract. We're doing that one. Peace and tranquility. I really hope that's the last one I have to use, but we both know it isn't. So, let's vote. Actually, we're going to do vault codes in the wind next time. So if you guys want to see the second to last episode, let me just unlock this really quick. Encore, encore. So, that leads us right to that and Snatcher Forest. Goodness. And, yeah, Subcon Forest, sorry. But that, is that also? No, it's um, not unlockable for now. Anyway, Encore and Encore and Vault Colt and Wince, so we'll do that next time. So if you guys want to see more Death Wish, to my displeasure, I, um, I'll get over it. But anyway, if you guys want to see more Death Wish as soon as possible, please give this video a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.